Hello everyone, nice to have you all back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic, how to change the faded and flared mirrors of your wing mirrors, the easy way without damaging other parts, how to remove it from the ball joint socket the proper way, furthermore we remove the entire mirror housing step by step, all this right after the introduction. We start on the passenger side, lower the window completely, protect the door with some towel, just something, a cloth that protects the door from scratches. Use a plastic tool and pray the mirror glass out on the right hand side, on the far right hand side for leverage. Use your left hand to hold the glass, prevent it from falling, not much force is needed. The glass is being glued on a plastic backing. In this case the mirrors are being heated over here, see? You have to detach the contacts over here. The packing is being attached here on the left and right hand side to have it electrically adjusted. The mirror on the driver side is being adjusted manually, not like the passenger side. There is a way to remove that lever. First, use a flat blade screwdriver push down and slide out that red angular locking pin. Second, once that locking pin is gone, now pull the plastic lever towards you, see picture on the right hand side. This is what these two parts look like. On the right hand side, see picture of the metal adjustment lever that holds the plastic lever. You can now carefully remove the triangle chrome trim. The housing is being mounted to the door with these three screws. Here we go, I have my two mirrors before me with glued backings. Over here the new mirrors without backings. Plenty of aftermarket mirrors on sale in the internet since the original mirrors are no avail at Benz anymore. They produce spheric and aspheric mirrors. The simple difference when producing spheric or aspheric when using an aspheric mirror, the objects appear more authentic, therefore you pay a little more for them. But since we are talking about safety matters, I went for the expensive version. So I got me two of the fancy versions. We are talking some 20 euros per mirror. My wife got a full time job now, I made her pay for this. Few things are needed to detach the backings. A sharp blade, a small flat blade screwdriver and the toothbrush from your wife if you're looking for trouble. We now melt the old glue with a heat gun carefully. We want to melt the glue only, not the backings, which would render them useless. Mirrors are now removed from the backings. We now clean them and get rid of the residue of old glue using this heavy duty glue remover from Koch and the glass cleansing spray. The original mirrors were heatable, can you imagine? The plug with the two wires was in this cavity and then leading to the inside of the car. As an option, you can buy aftermarket heating pads. This meander is simply glued to the back of your mirror glass and the two contacts need to be soldered to the two wires. I will not use them, just out of curiosity I want to know how hot these meanders get. External power source with 12 volts clamped to the pad. Impressive 70 degrees Celsius. This is what I call speed defrosting. We will not use that pad. It sounds odd since I use the convertible only in the summer. It is a summer car. 
Instead of glue, I use a generic double-sided tape to attach the backings. While we are around, let us unbolt the electric motor from its mounting to give it a wipe and maybe some lubrication. It is attached with these three screws. See that? Pin and hinge, a wipe and some grease will make it work smoothly. That's about it, how to detach the wing mirrors with mere three bolts to detach the housing as well. I did not use the heating pad, I just placed it back on the ball joint lock without the heating pad. Right now I will give you a drop down chart with part numbers and an exploded view of the different parts needed. Hope you have liked it, see you around next time with another topic. Bye bye everybody.